All right, so we're going? Yes. Yep, 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 yep. sorry about that. Okay, she's right. You know, I'm trying to I'm trying to see how this question comes out and how when I'm in instances of it, but like, you know, instances where you feel like giving up, like I'm done. I'm so done with not sleeping day after day and so done with just always being busy and not spending any time on myself or my family and my friends for this vision and this dream and this mm -hmm. passion that burns so deep within you. Like what do you feel like is it that keeps you going, keeps you motivated, keeps you inspired to keep on going? I think coming from an environment where it's it's like dreams didn't exist. Yeah. It's like um, it was wrong to um, have your own voice and vision. It's not wrong, oh, yeah. you know. And um, I'm not going to be that that person that says it is. And all the people that I want to inspire and the young people, it's, you know, especially like my nieces and my little sisters. I, and that's all I want to say is to dream, dream big, dream with all you have and never let anybody talk you out of it because mm -hmm. that is something that, you know, when you leave here, that, that experience, that's going to go with you, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and regardless of where you go, that's going to go with you. Not, not the things that you, you can get, but you know, I, I never, I would never give up on this. I would never give up on, on art. I would never give up on poetry. I would never give up on myself. And I know that I'm being watched, you know. Mm, yeah. I'm always being seen. And so there is no waking up and feeling like I'm going to give up, mm, you know. Wow. That's what society says you are to do, mm -hmm. you know, being young, black, female, you know. Um, and, and I know I'm not alone, you know. There's no yeah. reason for me to give up. None. I will never give up. Never. So, um, yeah, I just, I feel like that it, it just doesn't exist. Giving up is just, you know, like the word can't. It's it just, even, it, it, it doesn't even, exist in my mind. You can call it being unrealistic. You can call yeah. it being delusional. <laughs> but, the, you know, the most successful people and the happiest people know that that's what it takes to get there. Yeah. You can't think like everybody else because you'll get what they got. Yeah. <laughs> you want what you want. Yeah. And so, you know, I, I've learned that. And that is the, one of the most valuable things that I could have ever learned here. That's beautiful. Like, you, you're basically saying giving up isn't even a concept in your mind. No, no. And that's the thing. It's your life. It's your experience. And it's, it's yours to take control of mm -hmm. and to navigate. Mm -hmm. And everything else will follow. Yeah. You and have to trust that. Exactly. You have to trust that. Because... You, you rely on other things, you'll get nowhere. Mm. You'll get nowhere. Can you expand on that? What do you mean by that? You rely on someone else to tell you who you are. Mm. You rely on, uh, let's say, where you came from, broken home. I mean, if I relied on where I came from, trust me, I, I probably wouldn't even be here. <laughs> I wouldn't even be living. It's, it's real. It's really real. But um, you have to be able to, one, one gift I can say I have is that I, I have the ability to look outside of what's going on. And that's where a lot of the poetry comes from, is just is breaking that down and explaining it to myself, but in poetry, and then I'm explaining it to everybody else. But ultimately, just being able to step outside of it and know that that's not you. That's what happened, but mm. that's not you. That's not you, that's just what happened. And now it's time for you to take over, build your empire, you know, yeah. and, and, and go back for those who you feel like are still there, mm -hmm. you know. And a lot of times it's not going to be just through a conversation because, you know, sometimes you got to show people, like, you can do it. I did it, you yeah. know. Yeah, yeah. And the, the, that's what really drives me and keeps me going is just knowing that I have to show, you know. I can talk all day. But I have to show. I have mm -hmm. to show myself, and I have to show those who are looking at me. So, I mean, it, which keeps me, you know, the the next foot in front of the next foot, you know, because that's that's all I have sometimes, you know, yeah. to keep me going. It's just yeah. knowing that, like, there's little girls out there, there's little boys out there, you know, and they're gonna see, you know, and I can't. I, I would rather them see me push all the way through to the end, even if I fail but push all the way to, through to the end and just take a couple of steps and just give up. Mm. 
It makes no sense. Yeah. That's not inspiring. That's not me. That's not a real leader. You know, any of the real leaders, even if they, they got killed or they, they didn't get to finish their mission, but they, they mm -hmm. fought with all they had, you know. Yeah. And you got to do the same thing. Yeah. You know? <laughs> if you could say something to, you know, the little boys and the little girls that you were mentioning, what would you say to them? Decide who you are and who you're going to be. And that's it. Don't let anything, not even yourself, there will be a bunch of lies around you, but always know who you are. And if you don't know, spend a lot of time by yourself. Listen to yourself. Figure that out first. That's key. And then go from there. You can't go wrong if you're listening to it. Because it'll get louder and louder. And you won't be able to sleep. And you'll be up at 4 o'clock oh in the morning painting. Goodness, yeah. <laughs> and yeah. writing poems. <laughs> and you don't know why. Yeah. You don't question it. Yeah. You just do. That's your intuition. That's your spirit. Yeah. You, you have yeah. to, you know, that's, that's key. I like what you said about it'll get louder and louder. Because mm -hmm. that's very true. It's like when there are certain truths that you realize, it's like you can't not know them. Mm -hmm. And it's like you have to act on them. Yeah. Yes. Yes, definitely. Because it'll eat you alive. <laughs> yeah, it will, you know. But once you get to where you're supposed to be, you'll know it. Mm -hmm. And you do it so much that it becomes, uh, you have so much more confidence in doing it once mm -hmm. you follow your gut. Mm -hmm. And then you see what happens. Like, wow, you know, yeah. what else can happen? You know, the next time you get that, that little inclination and you follow that and you go, wow. Yeah. You know, like, look at what happened, you know. And so... You build more confidence in yourself um, and, and what you're capable of and your superpowers, you know. Yeah. That's that's the best part. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just wanted to end this with um, just saying um, stay motivated, mm -hmm. stay inspired, and listen to that passion and let it drive you crazy. Let your passion drive you crazy. Yeah, I just said that. <laughs> that is amazing. Yeah. Let your passion drive you crazy. You'll be in love at the end of it. Mm -hmm. I promise. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Sounds good. Thanks a lot, Seed. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> it's so How do you feel? I feel amazing. <laughs> I think it was really good. That was good. really good. Wow. It was really good. I'm glad I did it. <clears throat> I'm glad you were the one to interview yeah. me because I feel like, yeah, that was right. That was supposed to happen. Yeah, dude. Because I feel like uh, with anything else, it just wouldn't have been that, mm -hmm. that, that intense mm -hmm. energy. <laughs> it was intense, but it was a good intense. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let me go cut this.